I feel like I'm right up on the camera, but I totally like just recorded a video for you guys when I left the gym. But then I was thinking of something else I've been really, really wanting to do. A topic I really, really want to do. And, um, is your partner making you fat? Like, <laughs> I have wanted to do this damn video for so long because I feel like you know, when we're on our fitness grinds, a lot of times, it's our partners that are really fucking it up for us. It's usually our partners, and it's so hard sometimes when they do that. And so it's like, I've had my share of partners that have been super 100% supportive of my fitness grind and, you know, whatever diet I'm doing, whether I'm doing a cleanse, whether I'm doing... A, you know something you know and so I've, I've from for the, for the most part I've had my share of supportive dudes but then I've also had those who have not been very supportive at all all right and I wanted to kind of talk about this you guys because I know that a lot of you guys have the same issue where you're on your fitness grind and you're doing your damn thing and your partner always wants to ask you if you want something that you know is not in your program, all right? And so, I will say this. Lately, I have been having that problem with Joseph. And he is um, one of my biggest supporters, you know? But at the same time, it's so hard because it's like, I might be like, oh, I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna get some wings. You know, I, I, I can eat the hell out of some wings. I'm just season them really good, bake them, I'm good to go. Wingstop? No, I didn't say Wingstop. I said wings at the grocery store. Wings, you know what I'm saying? Like wings, you go buy a pack of family size pack for like 12 bucks and you're good. I didn't say Wingstop, you know? And so, he, and he's been doing it a lot. You know, a lot lately because he works out in cycles. I guess we'll call it in cycles where, you know, um, where he takes breaks. You know, he, he'll take a two month, three month break. And that, right now he's in a break. So he's going to start up again um, for the for the new year. Right. For the new year. And so um, and so right now he's kind of in this whole, you know, he's just doing what he want to do. I mean, he still has limits to what he eats because he is a picky person still. But it's so hard. And it's like, I really feel like you really have to have that much self-control to say no. You know? Especially if your partner's having you go get them food. Right? Like, go get this for me. And you're at the place when you could easily just order you some food. And how hard is it for you to not order food for yourself or to be in a car and y'all together and he wants to stop off and grab something to eat and you're just like damn and you're you're driving so you're like damn you know <laughs> so basically I'm just letting you know that if you guys are going through that your girls going through the same thing too because it's hard and and it's funny because my ex-husband David's dad um he was notorious. Yeah, he was notorious because there'd be times where, I mean, it literally, it could be, and that was before we had David, so, you know, it could be two o'clock in the morning, and guess where we're at? Jack and a flipping box, you know, our McFlipping Donalds, you know, our Burger Flipping King. You know what I'm saying? We would be somewhere at some fast food establishment, you know what I'm saying, at two o'clock in the morning. You know, and it was, and sometimes a lot of the times, you guys, it could be the furthest thing from my mind. It could be the furthest thing, thing from my mind. Like, I'm not thinking about burgers and pizza and stuff, but it's just the idea that you suggested it. So now it's suggested in my head. Now it's in my conscious, and I'm just like, damn, that's what I want now. Even though I didn't even want it. I just, it's just the, what is it? What do they call it? The idea of suggestion. I think that's what you call it. Anyways, you guys, but I'm just saying, you know, we do have partners like that, male or female, you know, where um, they will sometimes make it difficult. They will make it difficult. They will make it challenging. They will make it hard, 
you know what I'm saying? You might have to have a talk or two with them to let them know that's not cool. And so, and the, and the thing is with Joseph, is like I never know if he's serious or if he's just plain. I feel like he's he's serious, but he'll make it off like he's just plain. Even though if I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, let's go to Wingstop, knowing he would be really, he'd be ready to go too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I know he's serious, even though he might chalk it up like he's just joking. You know what I'm saying? Because if I was like, yeah, I want Panda Express, he'd be like, okay, let's go get it. Or I want pizza, let's go get it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know that I, I go through the same thing and, and it is hard for me. You know what I'm saying? It really is. And it's like, I, I can't even really bring certain things in the house because I know that if I'm weak or I'm having a moment or whatever, that I'm more likely to freaking eat it or whatever it is. And that's why with couponing, I really try not to get a bunch of junk because I know that when I'm having a moment, I don't really could care less. I could be going down downstairs to get something, something to drink or whatever, or Josiah or something. And you know, if I see it, I might want to eat it. So for me, and it was it was so much easier when I lived alone. Like it was just me and David. That was back when it was just me and David, and it was so easy because I controlled everything that came into the house. I controlled everything and I it was easier then because I didn't have a bunch of crap in the house you know and so like right now I've got you know my well my niece just moved you know my dad is there Joseph Joseph he gets what he wants he eats what he wants to eat he'd be having hostess cupcakes and stuff and yeah and Cheetos flaming Cheetos no one knows my favorite chips and you know um, and then I've got little Josiah so I've got to get stuff for him as well so it's it's harder now you know and I really do have to you know just really exercise so much self-control like you know I mean it's like gosh it's like I want to say sometimes sometimes being motivated is not enough you know sometimes motivation you know is not enough you know you have to be you have to have self-control. You have to have self-control, you know, because it is so easy, you know, especially if you know that, you know, if you have something in your face, you're like, you're more likely to eat it or whatever, you know, you have to have self-control. And sometimes, you know, it's self-control that's stopping you. It's not motivation. It's not like, oh, I'm motivated to work out. I am, I'm motivated to work out every day. I could work out every single day. I don't really care. I forgot I got to get water. Vons has, Vons has water on sale for $1.99 for the crystal geyser, geyser, water. And that's the only kind that Joseph drinks, so I'm going to go get him some more. I just got him three cases, but it's on sale there, so I'm just going to go get him two more really quick. And they also have eggs for $0.99, cents, and I'm going to get some eggs too. But the sun's doing something funny. But yeah, you guys, it's, it's, it's sometimes motivation is not enough. Sometimes it's just not a fuck enough. And you have to have self-discipline. You have to, you know? I mean, it's like, we say, oh, you know, motiv be, you know, a lot of people always ask, you know, you know, where do you get your motivation from? How are you so motivated? And you know, whatever, whatever. God is self-discipline. You have to be free. You have to have self-discipline to know that, you know what I'm saying? That this is not for you, you know? And it's, and it's funny because it's like I have another video I'm going to try to work on too as far as food and stuff like that. But but yeah, you have to have self-discipline, you guys. That's so important. Like sometimes, again, like I said, motivation is not enough, you know? Being driven. Sometimes the shit is just not enough. You have to be self-disciplined, you know? To refrain from eating certain things. To refrain from doing certain things. You have to. So, I don't know. I hope this video helps some of you guys out there I, I hope that you got the point that I was coming from but yeah, our partners do sometimes make us fat you know they do that's what I was saying David but yeah with my ex-husband yeah we would be at two o'clock three o'clock in the morning eating crap and I ate so poorly with when I was with him I ate poorly at the same time it's like we do you know find ourselves in relationships and we're happy you know when we and we go out and we eat a lot and that's what we do because we're happy with this person and you, what do you do you go out and you eat together and <laughs> you know you find yourself eating every freaking other day or you know most days of the week you're out at some restaurant eating like me and Joseph would be at Olive Garden all the time Olive Garden you know Fridays freaking 
you know, chilies. Like that's what we would do. He lived in he lived in Georgia, so we had a long distance relationship for a long time. So whenever we came together, that's what we would do. We would eat out. We would be like catching up, making up for not spending time, having that time together. And we would be making up for it. And so we would be out eating at eating at different places, you know. But but yeah, but that's that's what we do. We you know we get with our partners, and you know and. We love our partners and we love to eat with our partners. So it's what we do, you know? Um, and so, um, but like I said, it's just, it's just important for us to, you know, to, 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 to have self-discipline, you know, and have limits. I'm not really saying that you shouldn't have this and you shouldn't have that. You just have to limit yourself. That's all you have to do is just limit yourself. You know, you gotta set limits because Hell, I can get, I can open up a bag of freaking hot flame and Cheetos and eat half the bag, and I don't realize that half the bag is gone until I freaking look in the bag. You know, a lot of times we eat distracted. We're not paying attention to what we're what we're doing. We're just watching TV and we're eating and we're not even paying any attention to what to nothing. But I gotta park, so I gotta get water. So let me park over here. But yeah, but I don't know. I hope you guys get the point of this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys kind of can see where I'm going with this, give me a big thumbs up. Leave it there. You guys have an amazing day, night, whenever you're watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.